Hello, my name is Jack Darcy, and today I'll be talking about wrestling. So, seven, 776 BC, ancient Greece had the first ever recorded event of the Olympics. It was a gathering of all of Greece's best athletes, and it was a competitions to decide who was the best of the best at their respective sports. So, some of their sports included the pentathlons, running, jumping, discus throws, wrestling, boxing, and equestrian events. That's just a couple. However, out of all of these, wrestling was recognized if as one, if not the first sport in the Olympic Games. In fact, it's so old that there are cave drawings found of wrestlers dating back up to around uh, 3000 BC. And it is recognized almost worldwide as one of the most, if not the oldest competitive sport around. So it is one of the toughest and it was one of the most toughest and most respective sports in the competitions of the Olympics back then still is and so they're basic so in ancient greece basically what happened was for wrestlers there were like two types of techniques during these games so the way to win was either upright wrestling where you one person if they threw the other person on their back three times they would win or rolling wrestling where the people they would wrestle until somebody gave out of the exhaustion and had to put their hand up and like basically tap out because they were so tired and injured. So they would do this by raising their hand with either one or two fingers raised. So while they wrestled, they had to wrestle completely naked. And only men could wrestle. So these men would wrestle in these sand pits, completely naked, and they would be anointed with oil and dust so that the other person could grab onto them. And so there weren't many rules, but of the rules, there were rules such as there's no punching, boxing, there's no holds on the male organs while fighting because they were naked. And there's no biting. And other than that, almost everything else went. So these games were incredibly savage. And there was almost a guarantee of an injury happening to you if you were to wrestle in the Olympic like games. So they would. it was so savage that they would purposely break their own bones to break out of holds. So like, if they were being held or something, they would maybe like dislocate a shoulder to get out of it. Or if they're being held by the hands, they would break their own bones to get out. It, it was savage. And... It was a very brutal and just highly respected thing due to the like the nature of it and just the, the strength and prowess just exuded from these fights. So, fast forward today, Olympic wrestling is still a thing, but is much more civilized and much more safer. There are precautions such as safety equipment, better playing environment, better rules, referees, smarter point systems, and much more. Injuries still occur, but way less than before, and they're not, like, people aren't injuring themselves to be able to get out of a hole. Also, people aren't naked anymore. You can wear a singlet or short, a singlet or shorts and a tight t-shirt. And some of the safety precautions that are in place include headgear to stop from things like cauliflower ear or concussions, foam mats so that you don't get as hurt when you're hit on the ground, mouth guards so your teeth don't come out, special shoes that help with like kind of almost adhesive, keeping you on the ground so you don't slide around, and just much better rules in general. And so. There are two, ba basically two types of wrestling in the Olympic uh, thing. So there's regular, which is what most people do at like high school level and stuff. And then there's freestyle. And so whereas regular has more emphasis, uh, emphasis on controlling your opponent and like kind of like just points and like getting people like more, like just like more point based. Freestyle is more pin based. And it's like also way more acrobatic. Like there are, I've seen videos of people like doing flips over other people. Plus there are a lot more, less rules and less, less things that you can't do in freestyle wrestling. So I'm going to talk mostly about regular wrestling for this. So Olympic regular wrestling, it's uh, around usually around six minute. Uh, the entire thing is around six minutes long, consisting of three two minute rounds. There is an overtime if there's no winner produced within that time, however. And there are three positions in wrestling. So first of all, you have neutral, where both wrestlers stand and facing each other. This is usually, like, not touching each other, around three feet. And this is usually what happens at every single start of the round. And it's, like, kind of the starting position. Then there is top, where one person is behind the other person on the ground, kind of over them, with one hand on their sh uh, elbow and one around them. And then there's bottom, the opposite end of that, where this person is on their hands and knees, and their main goal is to get up and try to get either get away from the person 
or try to reverse it and the top is either to try to is basically just try to get them on the ground and get points so there are basically two ways to win the match either by points or by pin and so the point system works such as this so it's like one point for an escape like if you're on bottom and you get out of it away from the person on top that's one point two points for takedown like if some they're both in neutral position and one person takes them down by the legs or something like that and they go on the ground and that's a takedown reversals are also two points and that's like if you're on the bottom and someone's on top and you somehow manage your way to get the person who was on top to bottom and you on top near falls is when you get somebody two points for near falls is when you get somebody close to getting pinned for under five seconds and then three points for near, near falls where the person is almost on their back for more than five seconds and so also, penalty points can be awarded for things such as stalling, which is when one or both wrestlers do not initiate any action for a while, which is for at first a warning, then one point penalty, then two, then a two point penalty, then another two point penalty, then a disqualification, and like illegal holds, such as like a full Nelson, which is where you put like both hands behind their neck and their arms are like this, and they can get their arms snapped off, scissoring their head with your legs, headlocks without arms, and that's just stuff like that. And so it is a very difficult sport it is sounds it's a short rounds but it's very very like energy taking consuming and it is a very it's an old sport and it is a very highly practiced sport and it has been around for a very long time and it will continue to be around for a very long time i think too thank you that is my presentation